with the recent news of the abortion law, Roe versus Wade, uh, I've seen people respond with shock. Um, I've heard people say that it's now raising fundamental questions as in one for women in particular being, do I even now, do I owe my body? The whole point is you don't need to have a politician answer that question. You should know the answer to that question. You don't own your body. So let's start there. Yeah, you may not have the ability to do one specific thing now, per se, if you live in a certain state, per se, right? But no, you never owned your body. So let's get one thing first before we now get shocked that we can't now do one. Owning your body was never in the... You talk about free will. You're in the cage of nature, you're already without a certain will. There, There's an imposition that's in with this. So now we're talking about free will. I mean, it's not black and white. It's not like you don't have will. And no, we have choices. But when it was never your choice to come into this will, how can you now say, how can we contemplate free will? So women and it's 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 unfortunate news for anyone anyone should be able to see the at least a humanity in why abortion should be existent it's still going to be existent it's not like things just stop you know humans will do what humans do but it should be lawed into constitution because obviously i mean the hurt i mean there's a whole reason why people look to you know, influence others to not be you know, of existence and creating existence because there's going to be hurt. And we know with certain people in certain situations, they're going to hurt more. Um, so there should be a way out if there is a way out. But the whole question of owning your body no, this is this is something that people don't know enough because clearly for them to contemplate such a question after abortion, I mean, these guys, you, you can see the level of introspection that they've come up to in their lives. That's for the predominant sense of the majority of people. People think that's a very profound question, but that that's a very naive, naive question. Because you should have already known by now that you don't own your body. In many ways, it's your body owning you. So to be in this trance to still believe that you ever had owned your body. And again, it's not like you don't have a will. Yes, you can influence, you know, you can dictate certain things. Yes, but to say you own you don't even know when you're going to die. Now you're saying you own your body? You don't you don't ask to come into your body and now you own it? Do you really own it when something bad happens to you and you never want something bad to happen to you? But if you don't admit that bad things will surely happen, it's happened once before, it will surely happen again in anyone's lives. You don't want that to happen, but it happens naturally. So owning your body? I don't know. People like to fantasize certain things and make it more grandiose than what it really is. But um, no, we, 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 are, we are on a roller coaster right now. You know, that's really what it is. Ups and downs. You think you got the wheel, but you you ain't really got the wheel. You really don't. Um, you really don't. 
So there's just certain things that we have to just go and do. Not to say that there aren't things we can choose to do, but there are certain things you have to go through. So this owning body, I mean, many people would have been out their body by now. I mean, this clearly isn't the place to be. I mean, it really isn't. People are really, it's kind of like when you go to a party, if you've ever been to one, any type of party. The idea sounds nice, but then you look at what it actually is and it's like, eh, it's like sex. I'm not much of a sex person myself, but the idea sounds nice, but then the reality is like, uh, you know, post-nut clarification. That's what this world is. It, it, it gets to show how clueless it is because you're, you're so fixed on someone, one very, you know, that you see the chakra, right? Uh, the, the lust, the desire that you forget what the fuck any of this really is. You know, we're, we're so far away. <laughs> The bar has been dropped. The bar has been dropped. Um, so yeah, when you look at marginalized people, we're all marginalized. If you have a body, you're already in a marginalized state of being. But in the conventional sense, in the political realm, it really makes no sense why people put people to have to do this people shit. Um... I mean, now, you know, you have the women. That's a whole category. All women feel disenfranchised, conventionally, traditionally speaking. They feel like they're in a subordinate position, which they are, but, like, they consciously know it, yet they continue to have women be in this marginalized position. Like, why are we creating this suffering for no reason? Misery loves company, I guess. And then you have the black community. I mean, just black already. Why are you putting people in this disenfranchised state of being? It, it, it's never been anything for however long. And now you're still wanting to put people in compromised states of being. It doesn't make any sense. You're messed up. You're fucked up. Why, why are you doing this? And when you look at how things were before, there never was this utopian. So it's always been misery. It's just different variances, different valencies. But at the end of the day, it's still founded on shit. So it's not like there's anything to celebrate here at bottom. At bottom, it's just suffering. It's stealing, kill, killing, and exploiting. So it's not like we need to pinpoint a prior time to make whatever great again. No, it's always been bad. It's just you have people that are consciously in bad states, yet they propagate it through childbirth. It's it's messed up, man, at the very least. And again, it doesn't matter who you are, because in whatever social rank, whatever, you're, you're going to be suffering, okay? And the predominant majority of people are suffering at a, at a physiological level because they don't even have the proper wealth to sustain their life. They truly don't because most people go to work. So already you're off. There's people that have families, history of generational wealth that you don't see on the actual books, but most people go to work and people that we gratify that, you know, may have a different, they're still working. So they're still stuff. So it's, this shouldn't be a thing we just toss up. And then there's additional burdens that somebody has to fight off. This is never a good reality to work with. Like, look what we're founded upon. Look at where we started. We're, if you want to follow evolution, we're apes, bro. Like, this is not a game to continue, bro. It's lame as hell, bro. It's like, get yourself up. Pat yourself on the back. Like, this is a fallen world. What, what the fuck are we doing here, bro? <laughs> People got the lowest levels. It's like, yeah, I, I get it. You want to play with existence or something. But like, bro, this is like 2 a.m. in the bar. No woman, no fucking is better than any of that. So why are you choosing this? Why are you continuing this? It's low level thinking, low level thought process. We're fucking apes, man. We're just addicted to the itch being relieved, which is in many cases sex or whatever kink you have in this world you're addicted to that desire being fulfilled we like to think that we're some people oh um can no we're all addicted and dopamine we have our rituals that we constantly 
work work under. Um, so it's just it's just nothing to celebrate. Nothing to celebrate. Uh, we're we're just like any animal. Um, so it's just it's just why, why? I mean, the very fact that you have any harm. I mean, it's it's there's people that say, oh, well, of course you have to have some type of bad to relate to the good. Well, there's a certain stretch where it's like, no, this is worked under bad, bad processing. It's not just it's like a bad bug. So, yes, you get what they're saying, but they're not being really genuine with what they're saying because they're not relating it to the world. You you know the intricacies to see like, yes, like this bad thing lets this bad thing because this is like the nuts and bolts of this is bad. So... It's, it's it's in the equation. It's not like it's something we're trying to fix. It can't be fixed, you know, so. <laughs> but one way you can uh, look to refute the sentiment someone may say when they say, oh, well, there has to be some type of pain. There has to be some type of bad to relate to the pleasure, to relate to the good. Um. You know, you look at things like the animal kingdom, you know, how things are pretty much eating itself. Creation is eating creation. Uh, you see the insanity uh, that is just by default in the workers of this existence. Uh, so it, do it doesn't make sense to say that we have to relate the good to the bad because the, the good doesn't come without the bad. So to say, oh, well, we have to have this relative comparison. No, you don't get this good without first dealing with the bad predominantly already. So these people, they're just, there's just not a genuine thing to say. Uh, but yeah, abortion is very unfortunate. Um, it's going to cause more people to have to come here. And it just goes back to the fact that, I mean, first off, you're dealing with humans that are really just, they're monkeys, you know, they're apes, or they're just, they're just very primal, instinctual. I mean, at the end of the day, it comes back to the fact that we're careless and we neglect things, which is why this is even going to happen in the first place with abortion. So there's a whole just dumb aspect of humanity in that sense. But, you know, it's going to cause more people to be going back to their wage camps and, um, you know, just have to do unfortunate shit for the betterment of a few people, a few organizations, what have you. Um, it's all sadistic. It's all, it's all pretty, pretty messed up. Um, but for anyone that feels marginalized, you have those people in the current stance, uh, people that are pro-abortion, pro-choice. Um, or you can ha have had people that are, you know, on the opposite end of that, uh, anti-choice, pro-life, concern, you know, it doesn't matter what side that you are in life, in life, you are going to be marginalized. You're going to be disenfranchised. It's just that there's a superstructure, uh, called politics where certain groups of people feel marginalized or more disenfranchised as other people. But at bottom, you're going to suffer. At bottom, you're in a subordinate position. So we don't have to play this. Well, if you're rich, it's okay to promote. Anybody that is playing with this game is fucked up. Um, but again, looking at any group of people, black people, I mean, it's just messed up. It's just messed up. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. It's really messed up. I'm black myself. It's not eugenesis. You shouldn't do it. LGBTQ plus the third fucked up. I mean, even white people fuck, I mean, across the board. So it doesn't matter what identity you are. The point is, you know, you're going through some fucked up thing. Why are you putting a fucked up thing to go through to not only just somebody, but your own your own lineage. It, it shit, this, it's twisted. It's, twist, it's twisted. 